I'm Nathan Olivares Giles, a technology reporter with the Los Angeles Times, and this week we're taking a look at the HP Touchpad, which is Hewlett Packard's new entry into the tablet space. This is the first tablet from HP that runs on what HP is calling HP WebOS. And what that essentially is, is the WebOS operating system that HP took over when they bought Palm last year. There's a lot to like in the touchpad, and there's a lot to really be irritated with. HP WebOS is really fun to use. It's a great operating system, and it's really good at multitasking. Right here, I have more than half a dozen windows open. They're all running in real time in the background. It has a really great notification system, but there is a lack of apps in HP's uh, app catalog. That can be a little bit frustrating, it can feel a little limiting when you look at all the choices that are afforded to tablet users on iOS or Google Android. One example of what I'm talking about is Amazon's Kindle app. What HP allows you to do is download a Kindle app, but as soon as you download the app and you take a look at it, it says, oh whoops, the Kindle app isn't out yet, but as soon as it comes out, we'll let you know. One app that the HP Touchpad does have, that even the iPad doesn't have, is a native app for Facebook. And what's interesting here is HP built this app themselves. And it's a pretty slick uh, user interface. It's a really nice way to use Facebook on the touchpad. The screen is actually the same 9.7 inch diagonal size that the iPad is. And it also carries the same uh, 1024 by 768 resolution that the iPad does. And that was a move that HP made to really make it easy for iPad app developers to maybe get their stuff over on HP WebOS. And Hewlett Packard has said that WebOS is going to be a pillar of the future of the company. Is this the best start for WebOS on the tablet side? I'm not entirely sure, and the reason I'm not entirely sure is that the hardware actually doesn't feel like it's as far along as the software. It's a little heavy feeling, it feels about iPad 1 weight. It's a little thicker than some of its competitors out there, namely the iPad 2 and the Samsung Galaxy Tab. There's no camera on the rear. There is a camera on the front, and you can use that for Skype. It's a 1.3 megapixel camera, but you can only use it for Skype, and you can't use it for taking photos, which also doesn't make a ton of sense. You have a camera, but you're limiting what users can do with it. So the HP Touchpad, as it stands now, competing against the iPad 2, Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1, the Motorola Zoom, it just kind of feels a bit like a mixed bag. The operating system is the strength here. Multitasking is great, but there's not enough apps, and the hardware feels like it's better suited competing against last year's tablets. But HP is a hardware company, so I think we can fully expect that they're gonna get their hardware game together, and then maybe give us a device that can showcase what WebOS is a little bit better.